the BMW Hydrogen 7 Series. We're gonna go for a little test drive and uh, find out what it's all about. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> this is gonna, Tim, he's going to be our chauffeur for today? Yeah, yes. sure, sure, Gabe. Okay, and we're gonna sit in the back. Right. You guys get to sit in the front seat to get the full effect. Let's go. So what is, uh, what is this, Tim? Uh, this car has the ultimate status symbol of the future. It has got two fuel flaps. Uh, one for the gasoline. Okay, mm -hmm. so here. normal gasoline. So normal gasoline. Okay. Right uh, yeah. And the hydrogen uh, fuel flap here. Which, which the, one? Okay. The, mo the most important thing of uh, the BMW Hydrogen 7 is that it's burning hydrogen to nothing else than vapor. And the vapor is coming out here. You see this here? This is, this is water. This is water. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah, it's like all yeah. designed. Uh, how much does this car cost? It's a prototype, I take it, but how much does it cost? Uh, this car is priceless, basically. We, we don't have announced okay. a price okay. uh, because we, we have produced 100 cars uh, that we want to hand out uh, to specific customers that are using this on an everyday, uh, in an everyday situation to feed us back with uh, their experiences uh, when driving hydrogen. So it's like an uh, alpha test uh, car. It's already a beta <laughs> test. Uh, beta test. Beta test. <laughs> but uh, gamma, the, 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 the technical status, and that's uh, in, in software terms quite important. It's, it's not beta, it's already uh, the real thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the car has been developed uh, throughout uh, all our processes uh, in, in the engineering center in the north of Munich. Uh, we did a lot of uh, alpha and beta testing. So this car, uh, for instance, was taken to Silicon Valley for heat testing. It was in uh, Sweden, north of Sweden, for winter testing. Uh, it underwent all our test uh, cycles in terms of crash. Uh, so front crash, rear crash, and also specific crash tests uh, to safeguard the, the hydrogen uh, yeah. system. Is there a reason why it's that big? Is it because it's a hydrogen car that it uh, has to be large? Or are you going to come with smaller versions? Because we're from Holland, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we have small parking spots in Holland. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is indeed uh, the, the, the top uh, of the line product that we have. It's a yeah. 760 Li uh, based car. Um, it is actually the most difficult task to, to put an alternative fuel engine into such a uh, large car. It's, it's much easier to, to bring this into, in, into a lighter car. So we, we wanted to demonstrate that uh, Luxury, and this is definitely an extreme luxury car oh, yeah. that we're sitting yeah. in. This leather uh, is beautiful. Yeah. It's, uh, by the way, individual leather. It's, it's even the, the more refined uh, version that we have. Yeah. Um, so the idea was to combine luxury and zero emission. Mm -hmm. This is something that no one has done before. Okay. Um, the main uh, task of, of this product is uh, to influence uh, decision makers to think about hydrogen, to uh, move the society in the, into the hydrogen world. And if you look at the decision makers uh, who are taking decisions in terms of where is hydrogen coming from, where are alternative fuels coming from, it is politicians. Uh, those are uh, industry leaders. And you usually find those guys, of course, in, in these kind of luxury cars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they, they are the natural target group. What's been the um, main challenge in rolling out you know hydrogen cars I mean one I would take it is just being able to do hydrogen fuel tanks you know so if you run out you can uh, tank up I mean what kind of things are you guys um, doing as far as talking with uh, uh, British Petroleum or Shell or mm -hmm. stuff like that in how to implement this stuff uh, the big issue right now is uh where do we get the energy from that produces hydrogen and how do we distribute hydrogen? Right. The story behind this is basically an endless cycle. Uh, we want to produce hydrogen out of water uh, with, for instance, electricity coming from renewable energies like wind, sun and water power. And with electrolysis we split up water into their fundamental parts, and into its fundamental parts, uh, oxygen and hydrogen. hydrogen. And this hydrogen then needs to be liquefied and dis distributed at minus 253 degrees, which is quite cold, yeah. uh, <laughs> to uh, filling stations and then filled in, in, into a car like this. So the 
uh, the end of the chain uh, is solved and now we're working together with cooperation partners, uh, in this case Linde or, or uh, Total for the distribution to get this overall cycle going. Let's take, this is the first time I've taken a drive in a sustainable energy automobile. This is the I'm future. So psyched. This All is the right, future. we're feeling the future we here, are right really here yeah. on Zolo TV. Very cool. How many horsepower is that? Uh, this car has about uh, 260 uh, horsepower, both in gasoline and uh, hydrogen mode. And that's actually uh, wow. the interesting thing about it. Uh, even on the full load, uh, I can switch back and forth between hydrogen and gasoline and you, you wouldn't feel anything. We, we can do that uh, later on. The quietness of the motor, is that just simply the, the, the BMW engine design in this car uh, or is it inherent to the hydrogen uh, motor? No, uh, actually hydrogen is, is burning faster than, than uh, regular gasoline. Uh, burning faster means that the uh, explosion sound is, is uh, harsher. Uh, so we actually had more to do to um, refine this engine uh, than we usually have to do with gasoline. So it's a result of the engineering refinement uh, that we have put into this car here. When could we be getting our hands on this to be driving in uh, our everyday lives? This is, uh, this is right now part of a broader experience program uh, where we want to demonstrate this technology to, uh, to decision makers. Yeah. We expect uh, that we are still and that really depends on the energy uh, uh, economy uh, around us uh, 20 years away from a hydrogen uh, uh, distribution system. 20, okay. 20 years? Yes. Let's, let's dream. Do you see a hydrogen Formula One racing? That's clearly possible. possible. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, <laughs> it's not. That'd be good for sure. Uh, there, there, there's uh, nothing that instantly would uh, would rule out this. Um, well, BMW would win at the moment, wouldn't they? That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> the new website that you've put up for uh, clubofpioneers.com. Exactly, clubofpioneers.com. Uh, could you explain what clubofpioneers.com is and? How people can, uh, uh, what people can expect on that, because it kind of fits in with this whole uh, scheme, doesn't it? Absolutely. This uh, so the 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 uh, program BMW Clean Energy or, or Hydrogen Seven is uh, focusing on creating awareness for for the future of uh, individual mobility with hydrogen, with uh, zero emissions at the end of the day. So we want to broaden the basis of, of supporters and uh, Club of Pioneers is a community website uh, where supporters of this program can uh, create a statement and uh, show visibility. We also uh, bring different uh, news on, on where we show this car, all the events like uh, the event today has been featured on this website so that uh, we create a community around uh, this car and of course uh, the, the, the individual of the future please you know while i'm sitting in here um, in this hydrogen car yeah. taking this luxurious drive it feels good it? it feels good it's good for your car it does it does <laughs> i also have to think about actually a couple of uh really great video blogs that deal about you know sustainable energy mm -hmm. um we've talked about a couple of them before but i just yeah. want to name some uh, some more here uh, check out sustainable route uh, for the girl who's doing a tour across the United States okay. and finding and talking with people who are doing sustainable energy check out freshtopia.net yeah, for we talked week. about that one before yeah That's always really giving good. tips about how to become uh, more green we also have uh, Daryl Hannah's uh, 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 wonderful life or Daryl Hannah's uh, life where she's also going all over the place traveling and doing uh, things with, uh, you know, animals and sustainable energy and so forth. And of course, uh, Ryan and uh, Jay Dedman uh, yeah. talking about sustainable uh, uh, culture on PodTech. So definitely, you know, when I'm sitting here, I want to do a shout out to all you guys. And I wish all of you could definitely have this experience that we're having right now because I really feel that we are driving in the future. Yeah, we just crossed uh, the 100 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's also important. So, Are now you I, switching? Huh? I, I'll be switching. Yeah. So I push the button. 
and the result is you feel nothing. <laughs> Spectacular. Oh, yeah, now, now it's now it's running on on gasoline. I just heard a little, a little, a little tiny like tick. No, I bet this thing has an awesome sound system in it too. Let's uh, let's test it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I guess I'll learn.